aircraft carrier. The floating city that thinks it's an airport, and sometimes a god. It doesn't sail. It looms. It bends the ocean around it. Park one near your coast and watch politicians suddenly choose their words. Scale? 100,000 tons of steel swagger. 80 jets, thousands of crew, a nuclear heart humming for decades without rest. The runway moves. The wind never quits. And every 90 seconds, a jet punches the sky like gravity is just a rumor. Chaos. Genius human insanity, and it works. Mechanics time. Catapults fling metal birds to lethal speed. Arresting wires snatch them back from the sea. The island bristles. Radar, screens, caffeine. While below decks, a maze of hangars, fuel lines, bombs, and sleepless humans keeps the beast alive. Not a ship, an orchestra, powered by jet fuel and adrenaline. Miss the wire? You're swimming. Hollywood says invincible. Reality says mostly. Submarines stalk below. Missiles glare from the horizon, and every launch gambles with wind, waves, and physics itself. Survival is choreography. Destroyers guard the flanks. AWACS own the sky. Electronic warfare whispers, not today. In the end, a carrier isn't a vessel. It's a message. Gray paint, billion-dollar price tag, ego, and uranium. When it arrives, diplomacy grows a flight deck. Cruiser! The fleet's brain, with a bodyguard's fists. Not the biggest hole, but the one everyone calls when things get loud. Scale check. From coal-fired gun castles to today's radar towers and vertical launch farms, a modern cruiser runs a whole task group's air defense, pushing blips across the map like chess pieces moved by caffeine and chaos. Its eyes? Phased array radar staring everywhere at once. Its mind? A combat system fusing radar, sonar, satellites, and raw nerves. Beneath the deck? Vertical launch cells spit out long-range SAMs, land attack missiles, and torpedoes with rocket envy. The medium gun still barks. Some carry helicopters, and all carry headaches for enemy pilots. People call it battleship light. Myth. Truth? It's a command center that breathes fire. Size buys power and paints a bullseye. Saturation attacks test its magazines. Fuel, crew, and maintenance test the budget. That's why many navies quietly retired cruisers, or renamed them destroyers, while building ships that look suspiciously like cruisers. In the end, a cruiser is Wi-Fi and wrath wrapped in steel. When it speaks, the sky listens. Destroyer, the fleet's multi-tool with a bad attitude. When the ocean goes wrong, this is who shows up first and usually leaves smoke behind. Once lean torpedo boats, now near cruiser giants with radar crowns and shoulders of steel, they sprint beside carriers, babysit convoys, or roam alone where maps start to fade. Scale, big enough to fight anything, small enough to never stop moving. Mechanics time. Phased array eyes track hundreds of targets at once, while the vertical launch farm feeds an all-you-can-eat buffet of missiles, air defense, land attack, and the occasional rocket-flavored surprise. The five-inch gun settles close-range arguments. Below the waves, bow sonar and a towed array sniff for submarines, while a helicopter hovers above, dipping sonar and dropping torpedoes like punctuation marks. Gas turbines roar, the hull knifes past 30 knots, and electronic warfare paints the sky with ghosts. Jack of all trades? Sounds heroic. Until midnight. The task lists longer than the ocean, magazines run low, data links choke, and coastal clutter turns sensors into static. Cheap drones bite at billion-dollar hardware. Maintenance and exhaustion stalk the crew. That's the tax of versatility. In the end, a destroyer is speed, married to judgment. It doesn't win wars alone. It keeps everyone else alive long enough to try. Frigate, the ocean's bodyguard. Quiet shoes, deadly ears. It doesn't headline parades. It makes sure parades arrive. Midweight hull, four to 7,000 tons of calm purpose. Big enough for range, small enough for sanity. It lives on the sea lanes, escorting tankers, guarding amphibs, and playing hide and seek with submarines that would kill for attention. Sensors up, bow sonar tastes the water. A towed array trails behind like a fishing line for whispers. The helicopter circles, dipping sonar, dropping torpedoes, ruining someone's day. A modest VLS farm handles air defense and the occasional land attack. A medium gun swats small boats and cocky drones. Power, cod lag or codad. Diesels for the crews. Electric for silence. Gas turbines for the moments that start with, oh no. Cheap destroyers, cute. Escorts first, hunters second, diplomats third. Budgets adore them until missions pile up and magazines look empty. In rough seas, they punch above their weight. In missile storms, weight still wins. In the end, a frigate is focus over flash. Steel built 
to listen, escort, and endure. When a convoy sleeps well, somewhere out there, a frigate's awake. Corvette! Pocket predator for crowded seas. Small hull, loud intentions. 500 to 3,000 tons of restless metal. Built for the coastal knife fight, it lurks in archipelagos, straits, and shipping lanes, where big ships feel clumsy and slow. Stealth up, sharp edges shave radar echoes till it's more ghost than ship. Beneath, water jets or Kodak Kodad shove it past 30 knots. A 57 or 76 millimeter gun handles close drama, but the real punch rides oh. in canisters, anti-ship missiles that hit like freight trains, short-range SAMs, and a sea whiz drawing furious spirals in the air. Some carry a tiny hangar or drone pad, watching with compact radars and EOIs that peek between the waves. Mini destroyers? Adorable. Reality? Short legs, small magazines, and sea keeping that hates long swells. Brilliant in ambush, vicious in swarms, but it needs a shore or a bigger friend to stay dangerous for long. In the end, a Corvette is a grin with teeth. In the literals, it doesn't ask permission. It just asks for range to target. Offshore patrol vessel. Coast Guard DNA wearing a Navy uniform. It doesn't scare fleets, it steadies oceans. 60 to 100 meters, around a thousand tons, a few dozen sailors, and a lot of patience. Built to live where maps say EEZ and smugglers say opportunity. Engines on! Diesels hum for efficiency, not drama. 20, maybe 25 knots on a long, calm hull. A 30 to 76 millimeter gun speaks just loud enough to be heard. At the stern, a ramp spits R-hibs for boardings. Cranes swing over a mission bay stacked with gear. Water cannons talk in pressure instead of explosions. Flight deck? Usually. Hangar? Sometimes. Sensors stay humble. Navigation radar, AIS, EOIR turrets, bright searchlights. Inside, space for med rooms, rescued migrants, sometimes half a village after a cyclone. Not real warships? Cute. OPVs win the gray zone, patrolling fisheries, chasing smugglers, rescuing sailors, showing flags where diplomacy floats. In a missile fight, yes. Call for help or bow out, but give them drones, sandboxes, or a few extra launchers and the line with Corvettes starts to blur. In the end, an OPV is a badge with a horizon. Less thunder, more law. And sometimes, law changes oceans. Fast attack craft. Street racers with warheads. Small profiles, loud consequences. 200 to 600 tons of intent. Crews you can count on two hands and a coffee pot. And speeds that slap 35 to 40 knots like a deadline. Built for straits, archipelagos, and the kind of midnight where maps hand you a flashlight and a shrug. Performance mode? On. Hulls plane on water jets or high-strung diesels. Faceted superstructures shave radar until the sea swallows the outline. An OTO-sized gun handles the opening line, but the headline rides in canisters, anti-ship missiles that fire, turn, and vanish before your brain finishes swearing. Short-range SAMs and a sea whiz keep mosquitoes honest. Combat systems piggyback coastal radar and drones. Data links let a shore spotter turn a boat into a sniper. Mines show up when the neighborhood goes old school. Torpedoes appear if the paycheck justifies the noise. Lone wolves? Flashy, cinematic, and wrong. Reality prefers packs, swarms that complicate targeting, saturate defenses, and exploit geography like a cheat code. But ISR is a buzzkill. Satellites, patrol aircraft, and drones can spot, fix, and delete a small hull fast. Sea State punishes bravado. Magazines are thin. Without air cover, a fast attack craft can become a headline. Brief, and inconvenient. In the end, a fact is speed, weaponized into timing. Not built to own the sea, built to deny it for a heartbeat, then disappear into the night. Submarine! Predators that trade visibility for inevitability. The ocean doesn't hide them, it becomes them. Attack boats hunt ships and subs. Boomers babysit doomsday in steel thermoses. Nuclear hearts hum for years. Diesel electrics with AIP drift like ghosts for weeks. Quiet beats quick every time. Sound is life. Anechoic tiles sip echoes. Rubber mounts cradle machinery. Pump jets shave cavitation. Blades whisper instead of shout. Sonar listens in circles. Passive for poetry. Active. 
for arguments. Fire control turns whispers into solutions. Tubes cough torpedoes and cruise missiles. Then the hull bends away into darkness. Movies promise invisibility cloaks. Reality deals in probabilities. Toad arrays sniff. Helicopters dip sonar. Patrol jets scatter sonar buoys like breadcrumbs. Choke points tighten the net. Diesel subs sip air. Nukes manage noise. Both speak rarely and carefully. Crews trade sunlight for months of recycled air. Quiet footsteps and chess with the abyss. In the end, a submarine is a rumor with teeth. If you hear it, it shows you. Amphibious assault ship. Floating doorways to somebody else's coastline. They don't just arrive, they unpack a city. 20 to 45,000 tons. Flight decks the length of football fields. Garages stuffed with Marines, armor, and supplies. Some carry F 35Bs that hop like fleas with jet engines. All carry helicopters and tilt rotors that turn distance into a formality. Below the hangar, the well deck floods like a controlled disaster. LCACs and LCUs surf out with tanks and trucks. Above, the deck choreographs rotors, fuel, and ordnance, while elevators shuffle steel between worlds. Inside, medical bays, command suites, workshops, and berthing for a small town. The ship is a sea base, and the sea is the road. Baby carriers, big ferries, cute. Reality says both and more, but never alone. Littorals bristle with mines, missiles, and batteries that hate big silhouettes. Escorts, electronic warfare, and deception by time. Dispersion and rapid offload by survival. In the end, an amphibious assault ship isn't a ride. It's momentum with a whole number. And the shore? That's the exit ramp. See the next video. DF-21D and DF-26. Let's start with the so-called carrier killers. They don't cruise, they drop from high above, like bowling balls that learn to steer. If you've watched this far, don't forget to subscribe, like, ring the bell, and tell me which warship you think is the most dangerous.